Welcome to FOMO Consulting for your daily AMC stock analysis video on Wednesday, August 11th. Ladies and gentlemen, today was a very, very important day how this stock reacted um, after earnings, after the uh, heavy selling pressure from yesterday, and I believe we responded. As always, apes are winning, the diamond hands are winning, and most importantly, the retail investors winning. If you find this video informative and entertaining, please like, share, certainly comment. Most importantly, subscribe. It's a newer channel, and I'd appreciate the support. Let's get into the video. Thank you, as always, to each and every one of you who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. It means the absolute world to me. Thank you very, very much. Start with a quote. The loftier the building, the deeper the foundation must be laid. Uh, obviously, uh, we're playing this for a lot of different reasons, but obviously the price action is probably the most important, and the higher we want to go, the stronger that foundation must be. Uh, which means the levels of support we are building at that $30 level has shown to be tried and true. So let's look at the broader market. S&P up 11, Dow up 220, NASDAQ down 23, and Russell up about 7.5. Overall, as you can see with the Russell, uh, which we are a part of with AMC, certainly sold off from the opening bell. I was looking at the futures, and I just kind of had a, had that feeling today, but overall sold off, found our bottom, and then slowly climbed the hill throughout the day, just like the Russell. So another reminder, a lot of uh, really popular earnings are out uh, this evening and specifically tomorrow, Palantir, Wish, Disney, Rocket, SoFi, et cetera, et cetera. And Clove is uh, reporting, I believe, this evening. Overall, you know, should be some volatility, should be a little fun if you're involved in these plays. I wish you all the best. Let's look at crypto. Speaking of all the best, it is absolutely rocking. Last couple of weeks have been fantastic with crypto. Uh, Bitcoin is trading over 46,000. Doge is near 28 uh, cent. Uh, Ethereum, Litecoin, and others are all trending very uh, nicely, as well as the associated plays kind of go along with crypto, such as Riot, Mara, and what have you. And Coinbase had a fantastic day from the opening bell, shot right up, uh, hit an intraday high of 294, closed uh, up $8.73 for the day, and then sold off uh, pretty much second half of the afternoon. But a uh, fantastic day, fantastic just to be around crypto over the last week or so. And I don't see any reason why it would stop anytime soon, assuming the politicians don't get in the way. So looking at the options data, obviously that $30 strike level is absolutely key. Lots of open interest around 3031. On the put side, call side, uh, not so very much. Currently where we're trading in that 3132 range, uh, not an awful lot there. Uh, but at the $35 strike level on the call side, you have over 22,000 in open interest. It'll be interesting tomorrow to see how AMC responds to this, to see if uh, you know the whales step in and try to get it to, uh, closer to 35, or if we trend down closer to that 30 line, uh, I really, quite frankly, it's a coin flip for me, quite frankly. Well done to the German apes. Uh, overall, you had a red day, no different than us, down 6.3% or 26.39 euros. Uh, obviously, you felt the effects of uh, a lot of selling pressure as well, but overall, not, uh, not the worst day we've had, right? <laughs> So let's look at IWM and the Russell 2000 chart below, identically, as you would expect. Overall, it mirrors the AMC chart almost to a T. Uh, Sell-off beginning in the morning, around midday, started the slow climb back uphill. So looking at how AMC did today, you can certainly see where we bounced earlier this morning off of that intraday low of 29.40. We recovered quite well, actually, uh, to 3155, down only 22 cent or less than 1%. Uh, again, slow climb, just kind of at the whim of the broader market, having a heck of a run after hours up over a dollar to 32.56, at least at the time of this recording. And as you can see, how we followed the broader market of the Russell, almost to the T, almost to the minute, we found the low, bounced, and then slowly grinded uphill. Five-day, five-minute chart, as you can see, found that intraday low and bounced. Uh, been there, done that. If you see uh, where we found it last week, around 28.91. The fact that we didn't get into the 28s was a bit reassuring. But overall, again, this was more of a broader market uh, day, cork in the stream, 
but overall not the worst day we've ever had. So looking at the 15 minute chart again, we have uh, basically a double bottom going on over the last week or so where we found the intraday low of 2891 a few days ago. And we've uh, tried to get there today, but we held very, very strong. Again, we're just kind of forks in the stream with the broader market. Uh, overall, very, very strong. Uh, we obviously have a lot of support at that $30 level. Uh, we have found it, and I believe our brighter days are ahead. At least uh, we should be able to sustain this because that appears to be a very, very strong level of support. Looking again at the one hour chart, as you can see, we've just kind of been consolidating in this lower channel between 30 and 35 really for the last couple of weeks just kind of bouncing through that channel but again we found that bottom uh, a couple of times most recently and bounced hopefully we can maintain that level of support as we consolidate and hopefully make a leg up in the near term but the indicators rsi and macd uh, certainly have a lot of room to run we're in a bit of an oversold territory uh, rsi is on the bear side of neutral again with some buying pressure we have a lot of room to run so on the daily chart as you can see we've just pretty much been consolidating and uh, channeling between 30 and 40 dollars really for uh, nearly a month as you can see we've tried to jump out of it a couple of times tried to get down below it a couple of times but overall we're just consolidating uh, building support and a foundation in that level and hopefully we can find our next leg up uh, the MACD is so very, very close to having a bullish crossover. Uh, certainly a lot of the heavy buying pressure has subsided, as you can see, and the RSI has a ton of room to run as it is in the oversold uh, territory. And as you can see, again, we've bounced on that level of support. We need to maintain that level of support before we go into the mid-20s. And the alligator... Uh, from a trend perspective, he's certainly bearish and downhill. We need to get him moving sideways, get that green line to start crossing over the red line, and we'll be in much better shape. Let's look at the Ortex data. The average uh, age of the short positions is close to 42 days. That is incrementally going up. And the short interest is climbing ever, ever higher. Ridiculous that they continue to short this because the indicators are all leading us to yet another explosive uh, parameter around the utilization and the short interest and the shares on loan which are all very very close to the late may levels shares on loan currently are 105 million we were between 110 and 115 at that time uh, before the big run-up the cost to borrow continues to go up utilization is at the ever so important 95 percent level if we get into uh, the upper 90s uh, we'll be priming the rockets uh, borrowed shares today 4.38 million ridiculous 18.48 uh, percent uh, current short interest uh, it went up almost three percent today and overall total volume uh, picked up a little bit today 68 million not too bad and we did have some additional institutional investors, uh, at least 13 that filings. I believe it's about four, as a matter of fact. Uh, a couple long only, uh, and then the other ones are the long and short type hedge fund. So overall, as you can see, the parameters are incrementally moving up. And again, to those late May, early June uh, criteria and parameters, I believe, you know, over the next couple of weeks, we're going to get into those, into that sweet spot, right? So overall, hopefully uh, we can maintain support at the uh, $30 level at minimum and continue to move up as these uh, indicators and numbers keep continuing to climb. So let's look at the options data yet again on the volume side and the big contracts. 587 was total volume today, certainly very bullish, 1.6 to 1. Uh, but you do see a lot of puts in the, uh, let's just call it the mid and upper 20s uh, that have went through today. But also you see a lot of calls going through. So overall, you know, the normal hedging, that sort of thing. But overall sentiment is still very, very bullish on this stock. So let's close with a quote, build a strong foundation and you can reach the most unthinkable heights. Again, uh, consolidating and being in that 30 to $40 channel. Uh, certainly, they're trying to press us down below 30. We all know that. But we continue to fight back. We are building a very, very strong 
the foundation and as the short interest information uh, and data continues to climb again they are getting into that uh, late may early june uh, time frame type parameter so we'll see how this plays out over the next week or two and again i wish you all the best i want to thank you all for watching as always and if you found this video informative entertaining please like share certainly comment most importantly subscribe it would mean the absolute world to me but as always i hope your life is full of green candles take care bye-bye